Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks, which is a series where I showcase some of the non-obvious usages for my plugins. In particular, we're going to focus on Waymaker today. Now, you'll see that I'm not just using Waymaker. I've also got Harmony Bloom open, which is another really awesome MIDI sequencer. What I want to show today is how Waymaker can work with another sequencer of your choice and can kind of augment it and work together to create a totally customizable MIDI effect. Because Waymaker doesn't only generate MIDI, but it can also affect MIDI. So let's just take a listen to this sequence that I've got going in Harmony Bloom. Keep in mind, Waymaker is not doing anything right now. Very nice. I really like Harmony Bloom because it's kind of abstract. I feel like I'm steering the ship, but I'm not necessarily telling it what to do. Um, and I think... That kind of tool pairs really well with Waymaker because we can use Waymaker to kind of add a bit of uh, more algorithmic output. So what I'm doing here is I'm feeding Harmony Bloom into Waymaker, and then the output of Waymaker is going to my sound sources. And I've created a step sequence that is in transpose mode, but it's not doing anything right now. All of these notes are just gonna output the same as the original note that comes in. But what if we used Waymaker to kind of imply a chord progression here? I'm gonna drop this sequence down to four steps, and I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Slow it down to whole notes. We'll say that we change chords every bar. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the sliders. I don't really know what this is gonna sound like, but we can adjust once we've got something going. And now let's hear what happens. way that I like to use this is to kind of create like what I think of as harmonic fill almost. Um, if you think about like, you know, how a drummer plays, you know, maybe every fourth bar, they're going to inject something interesting and not just play the same beat, but play something a little bit more spicy on top of what they were already doing. So we can do something similar here with Waymaker, which is that, what if we say that the first three bars in this sequence, we're not going to do anything. But then on the fourth bar, let's say we go up an octave. Let's just hear how that sounds. up a little bit too.
So this is nice because we kind of just add a little bit of interest and variation at the end of this sequence. And I really like thinking about melodies in this way, kind of how we can affect melodies to create something a little bit more musical, something that we might be accustomed to hearing from, you know, a live band or uh, someone who's actually performing. And I also want to point out that you don't have to feed Waymaker the output of another sequencer. All of these principles apply for just something that you're creating on the piano roll, or maybe you want to use Waymaker in a live setting where you're playing keys and affecting the performance with Waymaker. You, know, you can imagine doing something like this uh, where you kind of inject some uh, interesting change every fourth bar, you know, while you're playing, and all of a sudden you're kind of playing with this tool instead of just using it. So I always try to think about how these tools can feel like a collaborator and not really just something to be used, but something to be played with. <laughs> Take care.